In this video, we're just going to show you where you can utilize our own GPS training GPX file cleaner to do a couple of things, especially when you've been using Ordnance Survey's own route planner to plan routes. You might have discovered when you export a GPX file from Ordnance Survey's route planner to put in another device, such as a TUNAV GPS device, or you might be transferring it onto something like a Sun Tour watch. Elevation data is missing because for some reason Ordnance Survey decided when you export a GPX file from their site elevation data is not included. Also what you might find when you plan a route on Ordnance Survey every time you click on the map you find when you send it to certain GPS devices you end up with a load of little flags like separate waypoints that have been created when you've actually clicked on the Ordnance Survey map to create the route. So we've actually got on our GPS training website, a GPX file cleaner that will get rid of and fix these issues before you then transfer the GPX file to something like your TUNAV GPS device, or you may be emailing it to yourself to use on the Suntour app with a watch. So on the GPS training.co.uk website, under the more heading, we have GPX file cleaner. <coughs> so I've just selected the GPX file cleaner. If I scroll down to the bottom, this is the cleaner here. So I'm just going to give you an idea of a route that I've created and just a little tip on how you should export it from Ordnance Survey site before you put it into our cleaner. So if I go onto the Ordnance Survey website, so this is Ordnance Survey's explore.osmaps.com website. I've created a route already here. And if I scroll down the page, we can see there is elevation data built in. <clears throat> but when we export from Ordnance Survey, that is missing. And that's something Ordnance Survey currently have told us it's meant to be. You only see the data if you're using their app. So what we do is we go to the option export GPX from the route that you've got saved on Ordnance Survey's own route planner. Then select the option that says advanced options. This is important. Instead of export as track, make sure you've got export as root and tick the box that's normally unticked that says export file without extensions. It says check this option if you want to import the GPX into other services. In other words, something that's not um, Ordnance Survey's own app. Once you've ticked those two options, we've got the little up arrow here, export GPX file. And that will then go to wherever you want to save it. So I'm going to save it to my downloads. So because I've already done this a couple of times today, I'm just going to delete the ones that are already there. And I've got the file name there. I'm just going to leave it as spy law and just delete where it's got clean. That's just because I tried one earlier. And I'm just going to select save. So it's basically saved that now to my downloads. Now, before I try and send that to, say, a TuneNav GPS device, that I've got connected to my computer or maybe you're going to attach it on an email to email to yourself to use in something like Suntour is just an example you could be importing it into the Suntour app to send to your Suntour watch you go to the GPX file cleaner again found on our GPS training.co.uk website and where it says more GPX file cleaner I'm going to tick the box remove waypoints that gets rid of individual waypoints it doesn't change the shape of your route in any way but these flags can all get in the way and I've also got add elevation if missing you can say override elevation that won't really matter for Ordnance Survey because there's no elevation data there so I could just tick that anyway and then it'll use the elevation data built into our cleaner if you've just got a route where you're getting lots of flags you might decide not to tick that if it's not an elevation issue but for for today's video we're talking about the Ordnance Survey Explore Planner that doesn't have elevation data and often creates lots of little flags that get in the way hence I've just made sure I've got everything ticked there and then it's got the option choose file so I'm going to click choose file go to where you've got the GPX file that you've downloaded from Ordnance Survey's Planner so I've got it at the top here and I'm going to select open and I've just got to select that again. I don't know. Sometimes I find you have to go back on and select it twice. Not sure if we've got a little bug there. So hopefully in the future you'll only select it once. But you can now see it's got where it says choose file. It says spylaw.gpx. Now I don't want to download it because I haven't cleaned it yet. So it's the option where it says clean GPX in the blue box. I'm going to click on there. 
and what it's doing is it's cleaning it up and it's telling me there was a few points it failed on but it's actually telling me it's written elevation to 93 points and it's removed any flags that would have just got in the way it's actually a little map at the bottom showing um, the actual route itself now all I need to do is say download clean GPX say where do I want to save it so I can save it to me downloads I've just left the name as cleaned because I know then if I go to my downloads and just go into downloads the one that says cleaned is the one that's went through our cleaner now I've got a two nav GPS device connected to my computer now so I can actually just right click on that clean file and select copy and in my list of devices connected if you were on a Mac computer you would do exactly the same but you would just go to finder to find your two nav connected to your computer and when you find the two nav data folder you then go into the main folder called data and then I've actually created folders in here you can create your own folders or you can just right click and drop the GPX file anywhere in a blank space by right clicking and selecting the paste and that cleaned file when I open it on my two nav GPS device will have got rid of the little flag icons and will now have elevation data if I wanted to send it to my Suntour watch as an example I would just attach that clean file as an email to myself and then on my phone select to open the GPX file with the Suntour app and then we'll actually have elevation data as well when we send it to our Suntour watch. So I hope you found this video on you um, using our free GPX file cleaner on the more menu on our GPS training website which really does help when you're using the OS Explore app to create routes just remember when you use the OS Explore app and you do the export at the end before you put it through our, our cleaner go to advanced options select the option as root and export without file extensions just before you actually um, put it for our cleaner put it through our cleaner and then you can send it to your two nav terra or send it as an email to something like your sun tour watch um, so you can email it to yourself and open with the sun tour app and thanks for watching